how to find out hcf using euclid's division algorithm so let's take an example first 24 and 15 is more very simple first step is 24 by 15 that is 24 you will write it as 15 into 1 plus 9 next this 15 will become the dividend and the remainder 9 will become the divisor you will continue you doing this process till you get a remainder 0 so what is the next step 15 equal to 9 into 1 plus 6 then this 9 will become the dividend and 6 the divisor so 9 equal to how many times 6 into 1 plus 3 it's still there is a remainder 3 so you'll do it you continue once more 6 will become the dividend 3 will become the divisor so you can write it as 3 into 2 plus 0 and once we get remainder 0 the divisor here that is 3 that will be the hcf this is euclid's division algorithm using numbers now generalizing we know that uh, it's uh, how will you generalize if i write dividend as uh, capital d divisor as d and quotient as q and remainder as r d equal to dq plus r so divisor will become dividend remainder will become the next divisor continue doing this process till the remainder is zero that's why you can generalize and represent this now an interesting application of this using words if you want i'll help you relate to this with a scenario which all of us can understand and i'll show that in a diagram that's when it will become complete and in just five minutes half the chapter is actually over to a level where you can start solving every question because this is real learning where you are understanding the concept so let's try understand so he you can see four steps here these are actually four divisions right first there are four divisions four steps i am just keeping it on the side here how can you visualize highest common factor now for that let me help you understand using a scenario very simple scenario assume that there is a rectangular wall of 24 meters in length and 15 meters in breadth now i need to fill this wall using square styles of same size now what is the side of the maximum square square tile which can be used to fill this uh, area or fill this wall that if you can find out that's like that's nothing but the highest common factor so you should ask why or how let's try figuring out so let's try getting into the question so this rectangle of 24 by 15 first i'll try taking out the biggest tile square tile which i can take out is a 15 by 15 tile that is by this side of 24 i need to divide by up to 15 so this first division of 24 by 15 is the first step over here very easy to relate so i can take out a 15 by 15 square by having a cut here now when i take a 15 by 15 square if i try taking more 15 by 15 squares i cannot take but still area is left out so you need to continue this process step one is over now from the remaining rectangle which is a 15 by 9 rectangle the maximum square which i can take out is a 9 by 9 square how by having a cut here so by this cut I'll take a 9 by 9 square, but I'm still left with some area where I cannot take a 9 by 9 square. That is still there is a reminder. Area is left out. Now we are left with a 9 by 6 rectangle. From this 9 by 6 rectangle, the biggest square which can be taken out is by this cut where you can take out a 6 by 6 square. But still area is left out. You cannot take a 6 by 6 square. So that is why 6 by 6 is not the answer or HCF is not 6. Next division is now you have a 6 by 3 rectangle the biggest square i can take out from this square from this rectangle is a 3 by 3 square in fact i'll be able to take two of them one and two and nothing is left out that is why the answer is a 3 by 3 square tile or the hcf is 3 now it's it's if you do a step by step comparison what is happening here is initially a 24 by 15 rectangle you first cut is 15 that is 24 by 15 that is step 1 24 by 15 where the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 9 just that it's represented like this now the second step over there is uh, from the 15 by 9 rectangle i can cut 9 here so that that's the second division 15 by 9 where the quotient is 1 remainder is 6 next is from a 9 by 6 i can have uh, i can take out a 6 by 6 square by this cut this third cut is the third division or the third step over here and then the last step is 6 by 3 division the, where the remainder is 0 that is this 6 by 3 rectangle you can divide it by, by this cut it's getting in it's becoming 
two three by three squares and nothing is left out no area is left out that is why three by three is the answer here i'm very sure that now you can relate every step over here is actually a cut or a division here this is also called division right this cut can be taken as division so this way if you learn where you understand using numbers generalize using variables relate to a scenario which you can all of us can relate all of us can understand that is why i used a square wall, rectangular wall of 24 by 15 where i have to fill this using square tiles of same size that maximum side of that square tile is uh, which can be used to fill this uniformly because now if i fill this uniformly what will happen is this using this 3 by 3 i can completely fill this and fill this so it it, it is uniform now or all square tiles are of the same size here what is the size which can be used here 3 by 3 let me help you relate to this one more way if you use the process here now what is the process dividend divisor quotient reminder every step what is happening is divisor will become the next dividend reminder will become the next divisor and continue doing that till remainder is zero what is the similar comparison here every step out of length breadth and the remainder that is remainder means after the cut what is left out over there so every step breadth will become the length and remainder will become the next breadth so b will become l and r will become b continue doing this till nothing is left out till the area is completely covered so that is why you can compare this in so many ways where you will have a clear understanding so that's why so this this step is i can you can understand this way initially it's 24 by 15 rectangle from that once you take out 15 by 15 square it is the remaining rectangle is a 15 by 9 rectangle where 15 is the length and 9 is the breadth then uh, once you take out a 9 by 9 square what is left that the uh, the previous breadth which is 9 that will become the length now in a 9 by 6 rectangle then from 9 by 6 rectangle once you take out a 6 by 6 square the previous breadth sixth will become the length next so six by now what is left is a six by three rectangle where six is the length and uh, three is uh, the breadth now from this six by three so that's the last division which is six by three once you take what you can take two square tiles of the same size where nothing is left out and you can just extrapolate it like this so that it's completely filled and as you can see in the diagram now so i am very sure that by this time you have you are at a much higher level when it comes to understanding euclid's division algorithm and i'm very sure you have not seen it anywhere else learning like this has to be your this will become your primary learning method learning like this using words numbers variables and diagrams and this is all this kind of a learning once you start learning because you are improving the way you think it's actually addictive it's almost an addictive learning experience and i'm using addictive in in a highly positive manner so i'm very sure that you will continue learning like this happy learning